author lashes out at the double standard approach to protecting minorities in Europe amid a rise in Islamophobia. A confident Qatar Energy says it will dominate the LNG market by 2029. 17 food outlets are shut down in Al Wakra. And finally, Bassam Al Rawi returns home to Al Rayyan. Hi, it's Ali. This is the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A top Qatari official has called out the double standard approach towards Islamophobia in Europe following a string of controversial incidents involving the burning of copies of the Holy Quran. Minister of State for International Cooperation Dulwal Qatar pointed towards the puzzling lack of accountability regarding religion-based hate speech, especially against Muslims, despite legislations in favor of other minorities being easily approved. The fiery speech comes just weeks after Sweden allowed a man to desecrate and burn the Quran, citing freedom of speech. For the full report, head over to our website. In business, Qatar Energy Chief Saad Sharid Al Kabi said the Gulf state is set to dominate 40% of all new LNG that will enter the market by 2029. He said this will occur when all projects are up and running, referencing multi billion dollar energy expansion projects. The official also said 2023 will be a historic year for Qatar and its liquefied natural gas deals. Last year, European countries turned to Qatar as they scrambled to secure gas in light of the Russia Ukraine crisis. Now, a total of 17 food outlets have been shut down by authorities in Al Wakra in the last six months. Al Wakra municipality said it issued the 17 decisions due to violations of the food regulation law. A total of 155 violations were recorded at the now closed outlets in the southern city. And finally, six years after leaving Al Rayyan for Al Dhail, Qatar superstar footballer Bassam Al Rawi is returning to his boyhood club on loan for the 2023 24 season. Al Rawi has enjoyed major success since his switch to Al Dhail, winning three QSL titles, one Amir Cup, while also helping Qatar win the Asian Cup in 2019 in the UAE. The young defender now returns to Al Rayyan to help restore the team to former glory. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.